go. Hey, what's up you guys? <laughs> Hello people of the internet, it is me Rachel and welcome back to my channel. So today I will be doing the January playlist, your girl Miss December, but you guys know why. If you don't know, Hello, my name is Rachel and I just moved to Australia. Um, yeah, your girl is located in Brizzy, um, as they call it. I, do they call it? I don't know. Anyway, I'm here to do the January playlist. I'm not going to ramble. You guys know it may vary through Asian music, Western music. Maybe we'll get some classical in there one day. You never know. You never know. These are my playlists. And let's get on. I am extra today, I can feel it. Salt Bay, I am extra. Uh, so the first song on my playlist for January, we are in February now, therefore I do the January. Just start that over here. So the first song on my January playlist is a song that I found on my Discover Weekly. Y'all know what it is. A lot of the songs that are on my playlist I actually do find in the Discover Weekly. Hold on. I had like a snot bubble, you know? It's like when it's like stuck down, you're like, I have to swallow right now. It's like, that's what it was. Anyway, I'm getting heated, hot and bothered just by talking. I heard the song Play in the Sheets by Zach Diesel. That's weird. I don't, I've never heard of them, but that song is really fucking cool. I really liked it, so therefore it is in my January playlist. The next song on my playlist is actually a song I got to know by one of my favourite YouTubers, Closing... Cl Close Encounters, aka Jen M, and she was doing her favourites and she said, I think it was her favourites or she was doing some kind of vlog and she was talking about um, this guy called Tom Mitch and he had like a really cool vibe to him. So I was like, you know what, I'm always heirs to listen to new music, so I did. And it was really chill, so definitely check out him. He's, uh, he's like got a really nice chill vibe of the sort of music I like. Well, I mean, I like fucking everything really, but like I like this chill vibe and it just made me feel really nice and relaxed, basically. And as I wake up from this crazy dream, I hope the things remain as they Another song on my playlist that I have found out because of one of my favorite YouTubers, if you can know Miss Remy Ashton. Oh, she's so precious. Um, <laughs> she was in Hawaii recently and she listened to all the Hawaiian vibes and tunes. So the song Stuck in the Middle by Tribal Theory is like my literal jam. Like my literal jam for January has been this song. Oh, so chill, right? As the guitar part and like, love it. Next song is probably one you've heard. It's a pretty popular song, I believe. It's the song, and a lot of you guys have been asking about me on Snapchat. If you don't know, follow your girl on Snapchat. <laughs> uh, the song Caroline by Amin. I have no idea. I said that. I thought it said anime first. <laughs> Weeaboo. No, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, Caroline by Amin is actually. It's really cool. It is kind of really cool. I mean, listen, man. I heard you done got you a dime piece, man. Be honest with you, man. She's a bang, bang, funny as hell. It's for oh my god. That's my baby. <laughs> if you are a RuPaul drag fan, whoa, 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 whoa. If you are a RuPaul's drag race fan, or just a RuPaul fan in general, this song, I just recently watched um, season seven. I knew like that came out like yonks ago. And I, I know, I know. I was meant to watch it when it came out originally, but I went on the website looking for uh, episode one, scrolled down, saw who won, and I just thought, mm -mm, I won't see it now. So I waited like a year. <laughs> no, not a year. Was it a year? No, less than a year. Six, five, six months? I don't know. Ages. Um, and I eventually saw it and just like this, um, the song Born Naked stadium remix got me feeling hyped. I am up here. Up here. You can't even see it. It's up here. I'm feeling up here with that song. That song is so, uh, like, oh, like when I walk outside and I'm like walking to it, it's like, uh, who do you think you are? It's, it's a cool song. Please just check it out. Even though, you, if, you, if you even don't watch RuPaul, 
just watch it because it, uh, it's an anthem. It's an anthem. Anthem. So good. Okay, so recently I went and watched Moana in cinemas. That has to be one. I'm a huge, like animated movie fan disney pixar whatever i'm such a nerd when it comes to that stuff but moana was so aesthetically pleasing it was so like the colors the oh the songs just everything the culture the way they actually went in and did so much research on the culture in hawaiian and um all, i don't know what the specific culture they were rapping but um just everything was so well done and like it was such a fun movie and like such an empowering statement for young girls um i really just loved it and you have to see it i'm telling you now please go see it because even though if you don't like disney movies you will love this one it's funny it has references it has easter eggs like you know what disney easter eggs when they like put different movies in yeah you know that it's, and the song one of the main songs in that movie is how far I'll go and it's the Alessia Cara one version which is so beautiful and I'll be standing in the shower like <laughs> it calls me and no one knows how far I'll go it's so good so good so good please check it out and the movie <laughs> Next song on my playlist is something that I heard because I just experienced my first Australia Day, believe it or not. Well, believe it or not. Ripley's believe it or not. No. <laughs> believe it or not. Um, I came out like the 20th of January, so I, j I was just in time for Australia Day. Um, which I do agree should be moved to May 8th. Mate, get it? <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, the song on the Triple J 100 I learnt um, was a really cool song called Love Sick by ASAP Rocky and... Muramasa, I don't know. Uh, anyway, Love Sick is such a chill song. Me and my sister were so hyped about that song. We kept listening to it like several days after the Triple 100. I love finding new music, and when I find stuff like this, it's like, <clears throat> hits the good spots, you know? <laughs> It's not Bob. <laughs> um, another Triple J 100 song that I really like was Ch Chameleon by P Now. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I just talk about P Now. Sorry. Anyway. P Now. P Now. P Now. Anyway, that song Chameleon is also a very chill, chill, chill song. I l I'm really feeling the summer vibe. You know, I went straight from bless blistering cold to the middle of the hottest summer. Um, yeah, so nice chill song. This is what I really need right now. Also, if you don't know, Childish Gambino has come out with a new album. I think it's called Redbone. And let me check that. No, it's called Awaken My Love. Never, never mind. Just kidding, just kidding. And the song Redbone is so chill. Just check it out, just check it out, please. Trust me, it's so chill. <music> Moving on to something that recently happened to me, literally the day after, 31st of January, I went to see one of my absolute favorite bands in the whole entire world since I was a wee little nine-year-old. Panic at the Disco came to Brisbane and I honestly was blessed. That. Anyway, I'm just giving you a little summary. Best concert I've been to in a really long time. He has such energy. He's so down to earth. He is like Bre uh, Brendan Yuri, that is. <laughs> and Dallin. He's got such long legs. Have you seen Dallin's legs? Have you seen Dallin's legs? Jesus Christ, he's tall. Anyway, Kenneth, everybody was so great. Such a good time. Me and my sister were dancing our heads off. She's the one who introduced me to Panic at the Disco. I was like nine. And she had a sweet, a, a sw whoa. And she had a fever you can't sweat out the album. First album, which is 10 years old now, I believe. I think it's 10 years old, yeah. So, 
that's crazy and the song is uh I, well that's not really on the album there but i just wanted to add some panic at the disco songs that i've been loving this month this past month so this is gospel and don't threaten me with a good time this is gospel is an absolutely gorgeous song i love it so much and that's a concert he dedicated it to spencer <laughs> Anyway, um, if you haven't heard the This Is Gospel piano version, I 110% recommend you go do that right now. Pause this video, open a new tab, go Google This Is This Is Disco, <laughs> This Is Gospel piano version. Please check it out because it's one of the most beautiful things I've ever heard in my entire life. So please check it out. And that if, if it's like one of the most beautiful things I've ever heard, then it must mean something. Um, so yeah. Another song that is very, not very random, I love Toto anyway, but they played this before the concert start. It was Toto's Rosanna, uh, and it's, oh, I just love Toto, I just love a bit of Toto, you know, it's just, oh, I love Toto, check it out. to my little segment called K-pop Corner. It's not really a segment. No product placement on this Pepsi. Did I just fuck up my lipstick? No, I didn't. Wait, did I? A little bit. A little bit. Anyway, welcome to K-pop Corner. It's where we talk about K-pop and what songs I've been loving right now. Just want to put it out there. I want to shout out um, a YouTuber who also has his own radio show, That Jodo. Um, as a K-pop fan myself, I love that he has his own show where he does K-pop classics. Uh, I've been around loving K-pop since 2011, so um, definitely go check that out. It's on SBS Pop Asia app. Yeah, uh, so shout out to you, Joe. You're doing a great job. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. If you love K-pop classics and just K-pop songs in general, you will love his show. He just talks about um, different K-pop songs and just plays classics and a bit new ones. And it's just, it's just a good old mix, you know? It's just a good old mix. And since we're still on the K-pop topic, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the songs I've been loving this month. <sighs> okay. So y'all know my bias group. My The group that started it all for me is Big Bang. And uh, <laughs> I know these are like relatively old songs, but like it really doesn't matter with these players. Old and new songs pop in and pop out all the time anyway. My hair is looking hella flat. Whew. Anyway, the songs Bay 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 uh, by Big Bang, it's uh, I love the Made album so freaking much. I love it so much. It's such a good album. Ugh. I can just listen to that forever and ever. I actually listened to the Made album on my way down to Australia because I flew with Thai Airways and they had like, you know, with screens. That freaking K-pop. And I was like, yeah. Yes. So, Bebe, and I love Top's part when it's like, mm, nah, princess. And I was like, top though. If you don't know, my bias is hungry. Now you know. I'm in love, no one can get your shots, baby. Oh. How you said, don't get hit, why shots, baby? Oh. Salam ya, just like yo, Jesus. Anyway, that one and let's not fall in love. Such a good song, love it. Their voices are crazy. Like, I can distinctly, you know, hear who's singing now, who's not, because they're so unique and different. Every single member. And it's just, it's just what makes me love them even more. That they just have their own uniqueness. Uniqueness nerves. No, style, yeah, whatever. Um, so I love that song as well. And the last song of my plays for this month is the song Sober by Big Bang on the Made album. I've done this gesture very many times, but it's because of my favourite gesture. It's like... Very good. Um, so the last song was Sober by Big Bang. <laughs> if you haven't uh, ever heard about K-pop and you would like to get into K-pop, I definitely highly recommend you do it because K-pop has helped me through so much shit. 
excuse my language, <laughs> but it has. It's like one of the best things that's ever actually happened to me in my life. Um, if I'm being brutally honest, music helps me out a lot and I know it helps you guys out a lot and therefore I love sharing stuff with you guys because sharing music is one of the best things I know because it brings joy to other people and brings joy to me when I found out that you guys get happy from a song or an album or a group or a band or an artist. And that's why I do these videos because I want to share the love, share the music. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go now. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this playlist for this month. Hope you like my background because I actually enjoy this white wall. Should I put something here? Actually, I don't think I can hang anything up. Anyway, <laughs> I've been me, you've been you. Oh my god, that's Tom Fletcher's outro. Sorry. Anyway, uh, I love you guys so much and have a nice day. Um, I'm trying to deal with this heat. But they have a lot of good food, oh my god. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm gonna make a different video if you guys want me to talk about me being here. Anyway, I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!